Hello everyone, Dav Edward here with a Starbound uh, dedicated server with Steamworks support tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be explaining how to get uh, the Starbound dedicated server to work correctly with the Steamworks uh, support and have all your mods automatically synchronize. As many know, when Starbound version 1 finally came out, uh, we now have the ability to go to the Steam Workshop, select any mods we're interested in, then, and they're added to the client. However, many have had many frustrations trying to get this to work with a dedicated server. There are a bunch of different workarounds out there, but I didn't like any of them. They were really dif difficult and just tedious. So I've made a script that automatically does the entire thing for you. I'm not very good with being on video and video editing, so please bear in mind uh, I'm not that great and I'll be stammering on occasion. Uh, to start with, what I'm referring to with uh, proper Steamworks support is when you go in to Steam Workshop, what you need to do is go through all the mods that you're interested in and then add to collection. Once you have all the mods that you're interested in added to collection, you yourself want to subscribe to them, but also you, what you will do is you want to give the link to your friends and have them click the subscribe to all. This way, whenever you want to add or remove any mods from your server, it's automatically done for your friends as well. Make sure though that you change this to friends only, unless you, for some reason you do want to make a public server, because the mod pack might confuse a few people why you've made a strange package like that. Once you have this all set up, all you need to do is go over to my link that I have at the bottom of the uh, video. It'll take you to Pastebin with this address right here and it'll include my script. So I'm just going to highlight that and copy it. To explain what is happening with the existing workarounds here, oh yes, yeah, first of all, uh, I'm assuming that you know how to use Steam CMD. Uh, if you aren't familiar with Steam CMD, uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there. The basic setup is really easy, and the script does take care of the vast majority of the work for you. You just need to know how to just put it on your Linux uh, box and start it up. With Starbound here, what's going on is it's expecting everything to be put into this mods folder. Unfortunately though, instead of being put into mods, what Steam is doing is it's sticking it under Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, the app ID number of Starbound, and then every single one of your mods is under its own individual ID number here. And if I look at all of them in detail, every single one of them is simply called contents.pak. The existing workaround is people are telling everybody, take all these PAK files, rename them all to the number of the folder that they're in, put it into the mods folder, yada yada yada, and it's really irritating, especially if every single time you want to change your mod pack, you have to do this all over again. My script is going to completely automate this, so you don't need to worry about doing any of that. So to begin with, uh, if you go into your Linux box, whichever pref what preferred method you have. For me, it's using PuTTY and use whatever editor of your choice. I personally use Nano, but you could use VI or Gedit or whichever you prefer. Make sure that you're inside the Steam CMD folder because that's where my script is assuming you're going to run it from. I'm going to type touch start starbound.sh, then chmod plus x start starbound. Dot sh that allows you to run it. Then simply nano start starbound dot sh, and then I'm going to paste everything in here. Oh, hang on, got to copy that again. There we go. So what's going on here from top to bottom is the first line is just simply stating it's a bash file. It's a bash script. Right here is where it's going to tell Steam CMD to automatically download and install Starbound for you. The key thing here though is I need you to change this right here to your login. Uh, it's got to be the username that you use to log into Steam with that has a Starbound uh, game on it. You also need to have it be the same one that you've gone to the Steam Workshop and subscribed to all the mods you're interested in, that way it's grabbing the correct mods. This is typically the same Steam account that you're playing on. What's happening next is it's going to clear out any mods that are already currently sitting in Starbound each time the game runs. That way, if there's anything already in the way, or if you have any old mods, or even if you unsubscribe from existing mods, it will remove them so they're no longer sitting in the system. 
it's not actually deleting the files themselves, it's just breaking the links, at least if you're running it typically. If you are ins installing any PAK files yourself by hand, this would be in your way because it will constantly be deleting it every time you start your game up. And you might just want to remove this line so you can manage this by hand. The last part is where it's doing all the heavy lifting. What this is doing is it's going through all of the Steamworks folders, finding all the PAK files, taking reference as to what their ID number is from the folder that they're in, then making a symbolic link into the mods folder so that your Starbound knows how to find it. Then finally, the very last thing it does is it actually runs the server itself. So I'm going to save this here. And off screen, I'm going to save a small edit where I've just changed it to my username. I prefer to not show that on video. And we're good to go. I'm going to disable the video here for just a couple of seconds, just because I don't want it to show my username in plain view. Actually, first I will show you what I'm typing here, though. So all you got to do now is you just type in dot forward slash start underscore starbound dot sh and run. So just simply hit enter. There we are. So it's going to go ahead and start uh, adding all of the symbolic links. And it's going to start installing all of the starbound here. And that is it running on its on, typically. I'm going to show you from uh, st from scratch here what it is going to be doing, but in a nutshell, it's going to download Starbound, it's going to find all your mods, which wouldn't be shown here because I already have it installed, but it'll just simply grab everything and start running the server for you. I'm going to temporarily exit out of here and show you what's actually happening in, under the hood here, so CD Starbound. If I look inside the mods folder, you'll see that it's uh, created a symbolic link of all the PAK files and symbolically linked them to the relative path to where the actual uh, PAK files are so that Starbound knows how to find them and run them. Pretty much with the script, you just simply launch it and you type in the start starbound.sh and you're good to go. The only other remaining step that you need to do is when you first install Starbound, you want to go, hang on, to the Starbound folder, go to Storage. Then you want to go to nano starbound server.config. Pretty much most of these you can leave by, as their defaults. The only thing you'll want to change here is the name of your server. As well as your server users. Server users is a little strange, the formatting, so I'm going to wipe this out and show you mine. And I'll explain line by line what's happening here. So server users, colon, squiggly bracket, first user's name in quotation marks, space, colon, new squiggly bracket, in quotation marks, admin, space, colon, true, if you want that person to be the administrator, Make sure you have a comma, give them a password, then squiggly bracket, comma, and then the next user, and keep repeating. I'll leave this on screen here for a few seconds just so you can get a look at this. Also make sure that the very last one has no comma between after the last username here, but does have a comma to close the server users piece. Once you have that all set up, just simply save. I'm going to go back up, start Starbound. I'm going to take this off the screen again just for a second so you can't see my username. There we go, so it's running. I'm going to fire up Starbound. <laughs> 
So join game. I'm just going to create a new thing here. Ah, right. Uh, one other thing that you, you will need to do. Uh, go to options. And as strange as this is, despite the fact that all your assets are synchronized, you have to check on the allow assets mismatch. You'll have to tell your friends to do this too. The reason for this is, although the assets are the same, I'm suspicious that the problem is that, is that the file names don't exactly line up. So even though it's the same files, the paths aren't the same and it gets the game confused. Just check the box, it'll solve the problem. Join game. I'll create a character here. Type in the IP address of your server. Whatever name you decide to put on that uh, step before. Whatever password you decided. Hit join server, and there he goes. And as you can see, I am playing as a valley, it's a modded race, and it is working correctly on a normal Linux dedicated server. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you, and wish you the best of luck on your further endeavors.